Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason and this is a daily hypnosis session. So I have an idea. I was thinking of um, this, this is something that some people believe in and that's fine for those people. So this is about guardian angels. Having a guardian angel and my understanding of a guardian angel and um, I don't need to be corrected so you don't need to leave comments to say it's wrong um, is someone or something that looks out for you that has your best interest at heart that's my interpretation of a guardian angel I know there's religious connotations surrounding it, but if you just ignore that part of it for the time being, and if you if that's something you're into, then great, but that's not relevant for this session. Um, so the idea that you would have something or somebody looking out for you all the time. Not a family member or a friend that may look out for you depending on how your relationship is and whether or not you've looked out for them and you know whatever. None of that garbage that gets in, you know, gets caught up in communication and issues and anger and blah blah blah. Forgetting that, allowing this to be a pure intention not based on any conditions, not based on any behaviour, not based on doing the right thing for somebody, not based on being kind to somebody, just to have something there that will always look out for you. A non-religious situation here, okay? So you can close your eyes if you're safe to do so and just get in touch with how you physically feel right now. And my idea for you is for you to be your own guardian angel. Maybe you can just get rid of the word angel. Be your own guardian. If that suits you better. But I'm going to use the word angel because I like the word angel. And what does that mean to you? The idea that you would look out for yourself. whole time and by looking out for yourself I don't mean being selfish and being ignorant and you know just being out for yourself and not caring about others I don't mean that at all I mean caring about yourself realizing that you're the only person that you've spent your life with 24 hours a day, every day of your life, from your first breath until your last breath, you will be with yourself and nobody else will spend that much time with you. It's impossible for anybody else to do that. You're the only person that really knows what you think. You're the only person that knows what thoughts go in your mind? Nobody else will ever know that. You're the only person that knows who you really are. No one else will ever really know that. So in that sense, doesn't it make sense that you be your own guardian angel? 
because you're the only person that really knows what you need. But what would that mean for you to be your own guardian angel? What would it mean to you to look after yourself, to be looking out for your own safety? Not just physical safety, but emotional safety. Caring for yourself, being kind to yourself. What would that mean to you? How differently would you need to behave and act in order for you to really be your own guardian angel? What changes do you and will you make from now on so that you can fulfill the kind of life that you want to live and lead. You can imagine the kind of guardian angel that you would love to have. If it was an outside guardian angel, what kind of feelings and caring, how would you wish to be treated? How would you need to be respected? To be treated kindly and with love. What qualities would that guardian angel need to have to be your ideal guardian angel, your perfect guardian angel? And those qualities that you require from that guardian angel can now be within you. You can even imagine that perfect guardian angel and pulling it into your chest, pulling it into your heart and your being, making that guardian angel part of you. Maybe you can see the light and feel the light enter your body, knowing that that is part of you. Becoming more the person that you know you are. Becoming more the person that you know that you can become. That you can be and you can love yourself. So what will that be like now for you? Now that you can be your own guardian angel, you can look after yourself, whatever that means. You can be kind to yourself. And what does that mean to you? How can you be kinder to yourself? How can you look after yourself more. How can you love yourself in a different way? What can you do to change your life? And what kind of guardian angel will you be for yourself? We're coming to the end of this session. Just spend a bit of time getting in touch with the idea and maybe making friends with your inner guardian angel. Getting used to being kind to yourself. Take care.